Hey guys, B Tier Plumbing here, and today I'm here with a few newly acquired toilets that I got from that hotel. If y'all remember from my last video, um, I was looking through Facebook Marketplace and I found a listing that said free toilets and had a picture about 40 or 50 toilets, which were the toilets y'all saw in the last video. And um, this is what I was able to get from there. So I may go back and grab a few more, but most of the toilets there were just Aquasource Henshaws. So I grabbed everything that's kind of different from there. But uh, again, all of these were free, which is awesome. So to start off, I got three brand new uh, SSI toilets. They didn't come with tanks, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know where they were or if these even had tanks, but um, I, it's not a big deal. Again, these were all free. So again, especially for being new, these are really cool. And they look like weird, like European washdown toilets, but actually they are designed to install on a normal toilet flange, as y'all can tell. So these can be installed in just about any house, which is nice. And um, I would assume the rough end is 12 inches, but out of the three that I got, there was four of them, but out of the three I got, this is the only one that I got that had damage on it. There's a small chip. The other two are good, and then the one that I didn't grab from that place was completely cracked on the back side. Right here, there's a big chip right here with cracks going up the back, so it looks like they had dropped it. But uh, So I got three of those. Uh, there was no Niagara Stealth Bowl, and um, it's missing some parts in the tank, but again, it was free, so why not? And as y'all can tell, this tank has actually been never used, so hopefully next time I go back, they'll have more stuff out. But uh, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but uh, yeah, I just, I have it now. Um, and some of these don't have lids either. I couldn't find all the lids because they were still locked in the hotel rooms, but here is uh, Glacier Bay, a little bit of an older one. Um, it's actually not too dirty on the inside. The exterior is honestly in pretty good shape. Let's see if there's a date somewhere in here. It says made in China. It looks like 2012 possible, or no, I don't know. Maybe it's, that's definitely not 2012. It, so I, I really don't know what year this thing was made, but moving on, uh, I got this Aquasaurus Henshaw. This one's actually in pretty good shape too. Obviously that's not even the right lid for it, but I just grabbed it. Um, bowl's in good shape too. It's not as dirty as the Glacier Bay. I'll go ahead and take the tank lid off here. See, the date on this one is 2014, so a little bit newer. Uh, looks like it's got all original parts. This flapper has, oh my gosh, look at that. It is, this part is supposed to be flat, but it's, it's shrunk. The flapper is shrunken and shriveled up. So that flapper, I can almost guarantee will leak. And I have a few of these WDI fill valves. I don't see them too often, but next I've got this Comfort Height Mansfield Alto. I don't know if there's a date stamped anywhere in the tank or not, but um, again, I could not find the lid for this one either, but it also looks like it has original parts except for that handle, but uh, the bowl is a little dirty. It's actually a lot more dusty than the rest of them. It almost looks like there was a fire in this one or something. I don't know for sure, but uh, already moving on to the next one. I got this Comfort High Orion toilet. I'm going to throw away the tank because it's cracked, but the bowl's in good shape. Um, I don't think there's a brand anywhere on it, but, uh, in the tank, you can see here is the date. It is 2001. Hopefully y'all can see that it's not focusing. So the 12th of October, 2000, sorry, 2004, not 2001. Um, that flapper is also very tiny. I mean, look at it compared to my fingers. Very small flapper. Um, kind of interesting though. I don't have very many yellow flappers. And as y'all can see, there is a crack going down the side of the tank here, which will most likely leak because it goes through on the inside. But uh, other than the tank being cracked, everything else looks good. So I'll definitely save the bowl on the seat. And then these two guys right here, it's a crane plumbing Euro flow or something like that. I can't remember. Once I find the model name again, I'll put it in the video description but um these are pretty cool this one is standard height and this one is comfort height and i will be giving one of these to occ plumbing and restorations uh again i'll probably go back and get another two of these so i'll have four of them and give one to occ and maybe one to somebody else but uh these are actually pretty cool i've never seen one until now 
it's kind of just like a knockoff Toto Drake, but again, these are pretty rare and there's not very many of them on YouTube. Uh, these ones also have open front seats on them, which make me think they came out of the main lobby bathroom of the hotel instead of the hotel rooms. But again, I don't really know, but these are, these uh, four right here, or sorry, these three are comfort height, I guess. Well, it's weird because if you look, the one to the left is definitely shorter than the one to the right but the Orion to the, the right of this one is also taller, but it's the same height as the Alto. So I'm not really sure, but go ahead and take the lid off. It's just got a basically a Universal Rundle Athens handle on it. So here are the tank parts inside. I don't know if this is original. It's probably not, but I know this is, and it's actually really interesting how it works. Never seen one of those before, but they both have it. And the date on this one is right here. December 23rd of, see it's upside down, 2004. So pretty interesting. I'm definitely happy with what I got, especially because these were all free. And again, I may go back and grab a few more, but yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below. And as always, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.